Right, good morning everyone. I hope we're all doing very, very well on this beautiful day. Right, um, first off, sorry if I'm not, not uploading a video in the last two or three weeks. Um, lack of motivation has hit me along with other things. So before I go on, I'd like to give four shout outs before I show you my winter Germans. Uh, one is Steve from Steve Small World. Uh, Luke from Luke's APS Geek Gaming. Um, Kev from Rage Against the Dice and I'm looking at the hex, got more written down. Andy Lewis from Peninsula Painting Projects. Um, I did put a um, question on the Andy Lewis's Facebook group, the Peninsula Painting group on Facebook, about how to deal with motivation in the hobby when you suffer from anxiety and depression. And they all gave me fantastic advice with others as well. Um, so a massive shout out to all four. I'll put all the links to their channels in the description below. Okay, so just thought I'd get that out of the way. So thank you very much. So in today's video, after all that ramble, we're going to be looking at my finished Winter Germans from World War II. Something different, and that's only because when you paint enough Napoleonics, you've got to be crazy with all the um, strapping and getting all the little fiddly bits right in the colours and stuff, so I decided to paint some Winter Germans. Now these are for the six man group from the War Games Illustrated magazine that you get free. So um, I'll turn the camera around and I shall show you. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe please. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in a second. Right folks, here we have, organised a bit, <coughs> excuse me, my Winter Germans. Now, like I said, these are the ones you get in the latest issue of War Games Illustrated. And it's a six-man uh, Winter German squad in great coats. I've tried to give them all... I've tried to vary each miniature so they all are completely different. Start from this side. You've got one guy with a heavy... Whoops. Carrying the LMG. Simple steel helmet. And this guy, I'll give him a fur, fur hat. Did the faces slightly different to the way I normally would. With the faces, I've um, gone with Bugman's Glow. And then it was Cadian Flesh Tone. And then a highlight. And then I gave them all a wash of Army Painter. Flesh wash. Hoping, hoping they all... Why aren't you going to focus? There you go. It ties them all in together. And I think it's worked really well. Really pleased with... <coughs> excuse me. The way I did the faces. This guy here... Of I moved his head so he's looking down towards his magazine in his hand. Just there. So he's checking he's got it the right way up. You can see he's now reloading. And this guy, I was going to put like an unexploded shell to snare his foot, like you sort of went, God in him and let my, I am about to lose my legs, yeah. But obviously I didn't. And yeah, really, really pleased with the way they've come out, especially um, the basing. I've tried, to, it was the same before. Someone said it adds. Um, Tufts and stuff just to bring it out, but with these being winter Germans around Stalingrad, I wouldn't. And that was a very bombed out city during World War Two. Um, I didn't think there was going to be any, so I've left them. And but yeah, really, really pleased with the way these have come out. I was copying the um, Pete the Wargamer his video. I'll put a link to his video in the description below. I don't think he'll mind. So, um, yes, these are my Winter Germans in Great Coat. I do hope you like the video, and yes, like, comment, and subscribe, please. You guys have been absolutely brilliant. And, again, a massive thank you to Luke, to Steve, to Kev, and Andy Lewis for the um, advice they gave me through my motivation and the mental health crisis that is going around at the moment so thank you very much for all your comments and all the recent subscribers you guys have been absolutely brilliant 
and I've been the BMP, so thank you very much.